Hey everybody, what's up? What's happening? Alvin here from Hades Gaming. Doing some The Wolf Among Us and Sheep's Clothing episode number 4. Uh, a little while back I did episode number 3. We played through the... Episode 3, we had a, I had a blast playing this game. I freaking love this game. So when episode 4 came out, I was so excited. And episode 5 is actually coming out soon too. So I'm pretty pumped about that. But we're going to play episode 4 today. So if you guys haven't seen or heard of uh, The Wolf Among Us, check, check it out. Like, um... I only have episode 3 on my channel, but uh, check out some other YouTube videos where they do the other episodes. Or, or better yet, buy the game yourself and play it, because this game is freaking awesome. I love it. It's really simple. It's really cool. It's one of those games where you just sit back and you just enjoy the ride. So we're going to play that today. Probably going to be like maybe a couple episodes. I remember episode 3 was maybe, I think it was like 3 to 4 hours long. It wasn't that long, but it was awesome. I still really enjoyed it. So we're going to play that today. I'm going to start it up, and uh, I think in the beginning they give you a quick recap for anybody who's who uh, missed it. But um, like I said, rewatch the old episodes because you won't really know what's going on. So you can just uh, jump in and have fun with us here. So let's uh, start this up and uh, see how it goes. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I love I that frog. Finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? This is what happened last time. Like right, this is like right at the end. It gets pretty intense. It was a good show, but you know. And this crazy bitch. Take, this crazy okay. bitch there. Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship Ugh. we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. So basically what happened, she took Crane, beat the oh, shit out of us, and now we got to get him back. Long live the queen. That's pretty much exactly where it ended. Here we are, episode number four, guys. Woo, I'm so excited. My sound levels are. Uh oh. What the hell? No. Oh. See around. Oh, it was just a dream. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm. He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Ooh, that's not good. I don't know what toxicosis means, but... Ooh! Look at that bone. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Swineheart. So basically, you guys, you never yeah, watch this. You get to pick what you answer. You get a couple I've choices. Seen, damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move. Ugh, that looks nasty. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Eh, I have to do it? Okay, um... Do I do this? Oh, I got a bash cue. Heaven's sake! Oh no, I wasn't quick enough. Oh. Ah, shit! See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. Sorry, Doc. That'll do. Oh yeah, and there's things arrive. that pop That's up here and there. We got to press buttons and whatnot. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. Hey, Mr. Pig, listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> uh. 
Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... No, she's sticking here with me. I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Fine. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Yeah, Colin, oh, fuck really? off. Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. <sighs> this isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oh okay. yeah. Miss White. You'll be Come fine on. for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. <laughs> he knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Yo, Stock. You're up and at him already. Reach for a beer. Yeah. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Don't worry about me, alright? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. That hurt blood on my shirt. Uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I think she likes me. us. I think she I've likes you. Never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you were really worried about me. Yeah. Ah, uh, she likes him. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Nope. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Let's talk to Snow. Who's the boss? She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The Good crooked problem. man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, desperate. If those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, Thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about well, it. Well, yeah, pig's just what else could Snow jabbing at us. If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. 
It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Uh. Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? I honestly Crane don't know what's going on. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? The what right do you way. Think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like <laughs> I can only do way. things my Baby's way. Baby's the one on the front lines. Yeah. Wait. What do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Really? <laughs> so, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters. The fight monsters. Colin, yeah, 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 I really you're right. believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice? I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Yeah. Right, exactly. Thank you. No problem, Snow. Look, Got your back. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Oh, you're gonna let it's me just that... do it, okay? Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me oh a shit, pig. Break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would Sorry, Colin. get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? Oh, telephone. I don't even have thumbs. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. <laughs> Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Pudding and pie. She told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Uh, must know something. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yep. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Will do. She's a piece of work. Bitch. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I think that was the best way to handle that situation. I think that's what we're going for. Every every response is going to be what would be the best way to handle it. We're shooting for. 
That was a cool picture. Oh, there you go. Comes the intro. So hopefully you guys got an idea of, if this is your first time watching, you got an idea of how the game plays and whatnot. As I said, really simple, really cool. You just pick choices, you sit back and watch. I, I love it, it's really fun. And um, it's got a good storyline, I like the storyline. You, you know, it's unpredictable, you don't really know what's going on. And uh, like I tell you, that, that scene at the end where you, you get shot down and you turn into the wolf, that was a pretty intense scene. I remember watching it.